Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm working on Linsky seat post with one bolt system. And this is very similar to um, NV one bolt system as well. As a matter of fact, they look identical for some reason. I just think they changed the name here. I don't know what the deal is, but I'll get in a little closer so you can take a close up look on that one. So here's the issue. The saddle tilts. It keeps on tilting up and down and it doesn't take much either you know going over smaller bumps or potholes it will tilt and i have it torqued at about between five to five and a half newton meters right now and that does not help so what did it do well i went on google looked for answers and most of my found were no more than six newton meters so i definitely don't want to go um to six newton meters yet but that doesn't help and the next thing I did was like anybody would have done. So I called Specialized and talked to two different agents. I called them twice actually and spoke with two different technicians. And the uh, answers that I got were about the same from both agents. So I was told that, well, by the way, there is no um, specification, torque specification on the saddle or on the rails themselves. So that's another issue. I don't know what the limit is. So yeah, I called them and then called Specialized and told them what the issue is was. And I got roughly about the same answer. So they said, look at the clamp recommendation, right? The torque on the clamp recommendation itself and go with that. So don't worry about the, um, the torque specs on the saddle, on the rails. What they also told me was that maybe start at six newton meters and if that doesn't do it go to seven eight one number at a time gradually and because some of these will say between eight and twelve or eight and ten and as a matter of fact my the one my light speed says eight and ten between eight and ten but ten newton meters that that's quite high on uh, saddle rails i don't know i could be wrong i don't know anything about these specifications so Another thing that came into play is that um, I originally had this bike built at my local bike shop and I think the mechanic had put grease where um, on certain these parts where they're not supposed to be grease. As I'm looking at it right now, I can, you know, there's some, I can feel there's some grease on here underneath. You're not supposed to grease these parts here. What I'll do is I'm going to take everything apart clean everything up and then just grease where it's supposed to be and then we'll go by um, what the rep told me so let's do that so before I take everything apart let me mark something real quick here so I know roughly this is what I'm comfortable with so let's do and then I mark these I taped these already so we're good on that one I don't know what's the deal with the dog. It's not happy ever since I start filming. Okay, got everything taken apart. So another thing that is worth mentioning is that when you get the seat post, they gave you two sets of these and I believe these are called craters or something like that. So you have the smaller one. Oh, so this one says 8 and 12. I just noticed that. So the smaller one, the smaller rails, they use uh, higher torque. Hmm. So anyway, uh, yeah, so this one is for the smaller, um, smaller rails and this is for 7 millimeters rails. And these are 10 by 7. Now, Specialized also told me that these rails, they are 7 by 9. So narrower this way and wider this way. So this is 9 and that's 7. That's what I meant by 7 by 9. Um, now, given that this is 10 by 7, I'm not sure if that makes any difference. But let's just use that. So you have to use the bigger uh, craters. Today is probably not a good day to film, guys. A lot of siren going on. Well, just now. But 
The dog's been going crazy. Dog's not happy. I'm not gonna clean the grease from the bolt. I'm just gonna add on more grease. So let's not waste any alcohol. You know what? I've never scaled this saddle before. So, and it's pretty light. Let's do that. Let's throw this on the scale and see how much it weighs. Nope, zero. All right, so here we go. 200 grams. Let's grab some grease. You know what? I'm gonna use this too. This is fiber grip and it has this um, sandy element to it. So what it does is that it helps two components um, bond together better. I'm gonna try that. I'll show you where I use it too. All right guys, so once again, these are all the parts that we have and I'm just gonna start with um, the bolt. Just gonna add on, kind of. There's some grease already on here already, so I'm not gonna go too crazy on that. And I will let you know how it goes with the uh, uh, fiber grip. Okay, so the bolt is done. I just watched NV tutorial video on their one bolt system and these are the only two parts that you need to grease so these two wedges here okay and light grease only but again like i said earlier i'm going to put some of this fiber grip on the outside of these parts here all right so with fiber grip i'm just going to add a little bit more inside of the seat post too And earlier, I cleaned up the grease inside here as well. So, first piece going in, we have our saddle. Like so, and then we have the second piece. And then we have these two pieces here. And in goes the bolt. All right, we're getting there. Okay, I think this is good. Yes. So, let's do the six newton meter. Come on. okay so that's where it stops all right guys this is it six newton meters obviously it's too soon to tell whether or not it works but i'll uh keep an eye in the description box i'll let you know if i make any changes or need to increase the torque other than that hope you guys find this video helpful oh by the way um next video i'm going to weight all of my bikes and uh because i just got a new scale from park so excited to see how much each one of them weighs so yeah See you guys in the next video.